Hey, everyone, so welcome to questions and answers number seven here. All right, so we're just going to jump into it this time. So Squeaky Squirrel says, thanks for another great questions and answers. Well, thank you very much, guys. It's all, all thanks to you guys that have been doing this. Uh, and have you thought about even more interaction, like maybe letting us follow you around your local pest shops, for example? Um, I mean, I could probably do something like that. My problem is around here, I have like one local pet store. Uh, that's in the pretty, that's pretty close to us. Uh, otherwise, there's like a bazillion pet coats and pet smarts. I think most of those are the same. Uh, but my brother actually works at a local pet store that's like five minutes away. Uh, so I probably could maybe one day do a video on that. Uh, I'll have to see. I have to kind of, you know, make sure it's okay with them first. You know, some places don't like you doing videos in their store. Uh, but yeah, maybe one day though, I could do a video of like that store at least. Uh, so otherwise though, we pretty much just have like Petco's and Pet Smarts, which I think are all pretty much the same. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so that's something I'll have to think about pretty much. Uh, then they also said you really are an awesome channel, informative, down to earth, and pl just plain cool. Well, thank you very much. You're making me blush. Uh, keep up the great work, and. Hope you feel better soon, and thank you very much again. Uh, and actually, I, I am feeling quite a bit better. Just got a bit of a runny nose, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Eddie Garcia Tapia twelve twelve says, "Like your vid, man. Keep it up." Well, thank you very much. Uh, Shirley Martinez says, "Amazing tank." Yeah, and thank you very much. Uh, Valerie, sorry, is it Mick? M Y K H. Sorry, I'm messing up your name. Um. It's a very nice, beautiful aquarium. Well, thank you very much again. Uh, thanks for a great video. Hey, thank you all very much for watching, guys. All uh, right, then Bo Fish World says, My question is how to start a fish channel like you have. I have only 30 subs, and I run out of, out of ideas for videos. Uh, most frankly, I started this in, I think it was 2012. And really, all, all that I did was just make a couple of videos, post them, uh, and then, you know, people just started watching them uh so i mean that's really all you gotta do is just keep on making videos just keep going for it uh just keep doing it and of course the more videos you make uh, especially if they are decent quality uh, my stuff isn't really high quality but it's decent quality at least i uh, you know it's at least full hd and stuff uh, i say just make quality content uh make informative videos so uh, people do like videos that have extra information about something so you can do like beta fish care you can do like quarry cat care uh, you know, do different fish cares. Um, you can do how to set up tanks. You can do saying, you know, make a video of you setting up your own tank. Uh, a lot of people do like unboxings and actual reviews of tanks. Uh, some of my personal favorites are the Top Fin, which is of course from PetSmart. Uh, they have awesome tanks, and they're always coming out coming out with new tanks. You can always do unboxings and reviews of. Uh, so pretty much, you know, just keep making videos. Uh, make them decent quality or even high quality. Well, the better quality your videos are, the more people are going to like your video and watch your videos uh, and share your videos. A big thing, too, is you having people actually share your videos. Um, you know, if one person shares it with 10 people and those people share it with another 10 people, you know, there you go. There's, what, 100 people that they just watched your video. Uh, I know it's a pretty basic way to say that, but, you know, pretty much you just got to keep at it and keep making good videos, uh, informative, high-quality videos. All right. Uh, King Aquatics asks, "How much money approximately a month would a hundred watt heater use?" So doing just a quick Google search here, and you doing some math. Uh, it's not much. It's probably about a dollar. Again, that's if my calculations are right here. Uh, because every every one thousand watts is one kilowatt, and Say it takes approximately or costs approximately ten cents or so, depends on where you live, of course. But approximately ten cents per kilowatt hour. Um, if you do, well, if there's thirty days in a month, so depending on the month again, and there's twenty four hours in a day. It comes out to seven hundred and twenty. Uh, if you divide it by your wattage of a hundred, you're using about seven point two kilowatts. I don't. I might be way off on this. Uh, so it's somewhere about a dollar. And again, sorry if my math is wrong, but I am not very good at math. It's not much. Just put it that way. It just it isn't much. <laughs> yeah, my guess is somewhere around a buck. If my math is correct there. 
And then they asked another question of, is a Koi Beta, a Beta that's got, that has three colors? Um, to my knowledge, a Koi does not necessarily have three colors. Um, it's more of a marble looking Beta. I mean, I've seen some that are almost all red with a little bit of white only. Uh, so it's not going to necessarily be three colors for sure. Um, it kind of depends on the Beta. And I guess who's selling the Beta too. You know, some people are going to uh, see a beta as, uh, koi beta as one way, and someone else might say it's a different way. Uh, just with a little bit of variation there. Uh, so, but it's not necessarily only three colors. Uh, they also said, can I put a female beta in with a male? Not unless you have a, like, 300-gallon tank. Uh, there is actually a YouTube video, I believe it was a 300-gallon tank, where a guy has multiple betas in the same tank. Uh, but because the tank is so ginormous... Each beta has its own territory, uh, so they do not actually fight with each other. Uh, in common use, no. They will try and kill each other. Uh, unless you're trying to breed them, but then there's a certain way to do that. Uh, so, short answer is no. Don't do it. Don't try it. Uh, do not put betas in with other betas unless they are all females and you have at least like a 20 gallon tank. And even then, they'll be fighting. Alright, then last question here comes from Christopher Predcones. Sorry if I messed up your name. I said, hi, I have a 10 gallon tank with some dwarf hair grass in it. It's been in there for a while, for a few weeks and still looking healthy, but it's not grown much. It's not setting out runners and the roots don't seem to have taken grip on the substrate. I read online that it needs fairly high lighting, so I searched my lights and they have a length of 385 millimeters, 5 watt power, 6500 Kelvin, uh, 345 lumen, I was wondering whether this lighting is considered high or low. It looks nice and brightens and bright to me, but then again, I'm not a plant, so I really don't know. Uh, thanks in advance, and sorry for such a long question. Uh, first, let me just say I am not the best with plants. Uh, that's why most of my tanks only have plastic or fake plants, uh, because I seem to actually end up killing most plants, sadly, uh, except for like, the very, 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 very basic ones. Uh, but according to Live Aquaria, for dwarf hair grass, you should have about 2 watts per gallon of water. And if you have a 10 gallon tank with only 5 watts of light, uh, you only have about half a watt per gallon of water. Uh, so I would say that your lighting might be a little bit too weak for these plants, uh, for the dwarf hair grass. Uh, that might be why it is not actually growing very strong. Uh, this one is not gro growing. Um, so, if you got a more, I guess, dramatic, so to speak, lighting, a bit stronger lighting uh, for that tank, you, they'd probably be growing better. Um, but, yeah, that, that'd be my guess, though, is just you just don't have strong enough lighting for it. Uh, because, again, you only have about half a watt per gallon. And according to, again, Live Aquaria, they need about two watts per gallon. So, you're about four times... Uh, weaker than what you need to have there. Uh, but I mean, I would say, though, as long as it doesn't look horrible, and, you know, they, they seem to be healthy and stuff, uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much, unless you actually really want them to grow. Uh, but I mean, as long as it doesn't look like they're all dying or anything, you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, any issues like that, at least. Uh, so I would say your lighting is not very strong, though. Alright, yeah, so thank you all very much for these questions. Uh, I know I didn't answer a lot of them the best, uh, just I don't have the expertise in like plants uh, as much as I wish I did. Uh, I really wish I could grow plants, but they always seem to die on me, sadly. I think that has to do with my water, though. All right, well, anyway, I digress. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, if you have comment, if you have a question you want me to answer in next week's video, uh, it should come out a week, for, uh, it should come out next Friday or Saturday. Uh, it's about a week from now. Uh, please leave me a com comment below and as always again if you have other questions on other videos I will try my best to answer them uh, as best as I can. Alright thank you all very much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.